Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation for a function f. So in other words, we're going to try to find an expression for f of x from this equation. Well, can we call this a function equation? Probably, or a problem on functions. Whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. First of all, I want to do what is natural and call this uh, tangent x, the whole thing inside the parentheses, another variable. How about z? So this gives me f of z equals cosine squared x. Obviously, that doesn't give me f of z in terms of z, so I do need to find a way to replace x with something in terms of z. So let's go ahead and write down what we have. We have z equals tangent x or tangent x equals z. We can go ahead and tan inverse both sides. Tan inverse is the inverse function for tangent, which is also written as arc tangent. I know some people are going to write it as arc tangent. I hope this doesn't cause any confusion because I'm not putting the x in parentheses. That's something that I don't like, but I'm hoping that this won't cause any confusion because what do you think? Is there a huge difference between these two things? I think it's understood that x is the argument here. Okay? So tangent x equals z. If we tan inverse both sides, let's tan inverse this, and let's tan inverse z. So I gotta move this a little bit to the right. I think with this one. Oops, probably not that. Let's put it this way. Okay, here we go. And then we should be able to move so we can tan inverse it. And now tan inverse of z. Okay, now at this uh, point, or in this case, I might put it in parentheses, but let's just, anyway, let's just do it. No big deal. Now tan inverse and tan are going to cancel out. We're going to end up with x equals tan inverse of z. Now we had this, so we can go ahead and replace x with tan inverse of z. And we got ourselves an answer. What we got, f of z equals cosine squared of tan inverse of z. But what is cosine squared of tan inverse? That's kind of complicated, right? And we can definitely simplify this. But let's use a different approach. So here's my alternative. And by the way, this is not the second method because this is not the first method, okay? It was just a thought. I just want to share with you, let's go ahead and look at the first method because I'll present an alternative. So start with this f of tangent x equals cosine squared x. Again, we're going to call tangent x something. Let's call it t. But this time we're going to do a little bit more. If tangent x equals t, then tangent squared x becomes t squared. And why did I square it? Because if I add 1 to both sides, I get 1 plus tangent squared, which is the same thing as secant squared. And secant squared is the reciprocal of cosine squared. Secant and cosine are reciprocals. Okay? So cosine squared would be, in other words, secant squared can be written as 1 over cosine squared. And then by switching these around, we can write cosine squared as... 1 over 1 plus t squared. But that was the right hand side of my equation, remember? So this gives me 1 over 1 plus t squared. In other words, f of tangent x equals cosine squared x gives us, this becomes t, and this becomes that. So we get f of t equals 1 over 1 plus t squared. And all of a sudden, I just realize that this is the derivative of arc tangent. Are you serious? And yes, this is the derivative of arc tangent t. So how can I use that to build my second method? Let's go ahead and take a look. This is going to be interesting. I hope you find it interesting too. So let's rewrite the original problem f of tangent x equals cosine squared x. We notice one thing here. If you take tangent, that's our argument, square it and add 1, you get the reciprocal of cosine. 
But you can also get that in a different way, which is calculus. Wow, that's interesting, right? To solve a functional equation problem. Anyways, I'm going to divide both sides by cosine squared. And of course, this is going to be 1 as long as cosine squared does not equal 0. Please don't be 0. So now, this gives us the following. The reciprocal of cosine squared is secant squared. So let's go ahead and write this as secant squared. Their product is still 1. At this point, we do the magic touch and multiply both sides. Hocus pocus, abracadabra. Multiply both sides by dx. Why? Because we can. So we get f of tangent x times secant squared x times dx or just dx equals dx. Now, of course, that's not the only reason why we're doing it because it's going to help us and we're going to integrate both sides. That's why we do need the dx. That just shows that we're integrating with respect to x. That's it. Keep it simple, right? Great. So let's go ahead and integrate this. But how do you integrate something like this? Isn't this complicated? No, not really. If you use the awesome method of substitution. So let's go ahead and call this t. So tangent x is t. So if you d both sides, you get secant squared x dx. I hope what I mean by that. I hope you know what I mean by that. I meant becomes dt. So we're going to plug this in and we're going to realize that we get a really interesting integral f of t dt equals integral of dx. Okay, so integrating dx is super easy, right? I mean, we've just seen it in a previous problem. Was it two hours ago? About two hours ago. We had another problem where we used, because that was a differential equation. Come on, we're going to use integrals, right? And we got the same result. So if you integrate dx, you get x plus c, which is a constant. Okay, great. So how does that help? Let's see. Okay, this is, be this is going to become x plus c. Now, I don't know what f is. Therefore, I can't integrate f of t, but I can differentiate both sides to get rid of the integral symbol. Wait a minute. If you differentiate x, you're going to get 1. Uh-oh. I'm not going to differentiate with respect to x. I'm going to differentiate with respect to t because this is what my function is. Make sense? So we need to replace x with something. Hmm. If tangent x is equal to t, then x will be arctangent t, right? Let me write arctangent this time. Okay, arctangent t, and if you want, I can put that in parentheses. Let's go ahead and replace x with that, and we get this awesome equation. Integral of f of t dt equals arctangent t plus c. The constant doesn't change because poor constant, it's always a constant. Now, what am I going to do with this? Differentiate both sides, and guess what? This is going to be awesome. Don't you love this? When you differentiate, you're going to get f of t because it's the integral. And the derivative of arctangent is 1 over 1 plus t squared, which gives us the exact same answer that we found with the first method. Awesome. Great. So that checks out. But I want to write it as f of x. So I'm going to write it as 1 over 1 plus x squared. Again, don't forget, this is the derivative of arctangent. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.